What's up guys, Steve here with a second stimulus check and the stimulus package update. And today we're gonna to be talking about the stimulus checks. We were told we we're gonna be seeing a second round of $1,200 stimulus checks. We were told there was bipartisan agreement, Republicans, Democrats, even the president said, you guys are gonna be seeing a second round of $1,200 stimulus checks. Yet we haven't seen them. Where are they? When are they coming? And why haven't we seen them? So I'm gonna be covering that in this video today. So the first thing I wanna do is ensure you guys that today I'm gonna to be presenting you with the facts. Those of you who watch me know, I do my best to leave my opinions out of it. I don't wanna be perceived as taking a side or a stance, just wanna get you the information that you need. And I feel that all parties really should be holding themselves responsible for the fact that the people of our nation right now are in need of help and they're not getting it. So we need to get them some help right away. The focus should be on helping the American people. So I'm gonna get you guys the information that you need. I feel like that's my part in this. And if you guys like that, if you could do me a quick favor, hit the like button, I would appreciate it. It will just take a second. YouTube channel success is pretty much based on interaction. So when you like and you leave a comment, it helps me out a ton. And also if you'd like to stay up to date on what's unfolding and get these video updates, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Uh, sometimes I get people that leave comments on videos that were like a week ago. And <laughs> you guys know this is updating, this is changing almost daily. So I have to tell them to go ahead and watch the most recent one so just go ahead hit the subscribe button so that way you can stay up to date and you really need to stay up to date on what's unfolding here because there's a whole lot more available to you than just stimulus checks for example have you or anybody you know recently had a baby because if so that baby is a non-filer dependent and you need to report that baby on irs.gov so that way when stimulus rolls out say stimulus checks come out you can get an additional 500 or maybe even 1200 dollars for that baby so congratulations welcome to the family baby good job also there's a variety of unemployment benefits that i cover on my channel that could be available to you and a lot of it's applied retroactively you need to apply right away also if you have a side hustle small business myself my wife some of my friends some of my viewers have seen the video where i do step-by-step -step instructions on how to get grants up to ten thousand dollars that is you don't have to pay back it's free money there's a variety of things hazard pay is a topic that potentially could be coming up. You could be receiving hazard pay if you've been working throughout the entire pandemic. There's a lot of things available to you, not just stimulus checks. So you need to stay up to date on what's taking place. I'm gonna do my best to keep you guys up to date on what's happening. Okay, so first, some of the information that you probably already know is that the reason why we haven't seen stimulus checks is because they're part of a stimulus package. And included in that package is not just the stimulus checks, but a variety of stimulus provisions. And many of which I already mentioned, which is like unemployment, hazard pay, state and local government funding, funding for schools, etc. a whole bunch of different items. And even though we may have bipartisan agreement that the American people need a second round of $1,200 stimulus checks, you will not be seeing them until there is full agreement on the entire package to be passed. Once Republicans and Democrats agree upon every item, then they will send it out to the president to sign off into law. But until then, we're not gonna be seeing any stimulus checks passed. So let's dive a little bit deeper into some of the things that are holding up the stimulus package, who's holding it up, and what we hopefully can see roll out here very soon. All right, so first let's talk about Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who actually came out this week with a sense of urgency and said that Democratic leaders and White House officials needed to come together already and strike a deal, that this was enough, that it was time. And this was actually a refreshing change of pace since Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell hasn't actually even been showing up to these meetings. However, it was reported shortly after that protesters have actually been almost stalking Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and have actually been going to his office and holding signs and shouting, Mitch better have my money. Keep in mind that this is the same Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell who two months ago denied the HEROES Act, refused to look at it, said that it was a left-wing liberal wish list and that it was dead on arrival. And said that we were gonna wait and see what happened, how things unfolded, and that if we still needed a stimulus package that it would be coming from him and the Senate and that he would be the one writing it. Well, he ended up writing it. He put together the HEALS Act and it was pretty much dismissed by Democrats, fellow Republicans, and the president. And he wasn't very happy about how things unfolded there. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even speaking to Nancy Pelosi and didn't show up for the negotiations that followed. And now he has finally come out and said, it's time to strike a deal. So right now, a lot of critics of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell are saying that the whole wait and see thing just really put us in a bad position. 
that we shouldn't have waited so long. We should have been working on something and negotiating a long time ago and not waiting until provisions in the CARES Act were expiring. All right, so next let's talk about the negotiators in the room. So for the Democrats, we have Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. And for the White House officials, we have Mark Meadows and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. Now, the four of them have been negotiating ever since the HEALS Act that was put out by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was pretty much dismissed. And then it was announced last Friday that after a couple weeks of negotiating, that they were unable to come to an agreement. So the very next day, within 24 hours, President Donald Trump issued an executive order and some memorandums to help provide provisions to the American people. Now, not included in that was stimulus checks, and a lot of people were wondering why. And it's because the president doesn't have the authority to issue new funds to the American people. It must come from an act of Congress. It has to come from those four. And uh, they questioned the legality of what he was doing, and he said, you know what, I I'm not issuing new funds. I'm just reallocating them. I'm trying to get something out to the people since you guys are unable to do it. And if you don't like it, you can challenge it. But if you challenge it and you don't come up with something else, then you're pretty much evil because you're stopping provisions to Americans that are in need. So nobody challenged him. They decided that, okay, we're gonna let this roll. But at the same time, it encouraged all four of those individuals to get back to the negotiating room. And Nancy Pelosi said, we have to. Now, Monday, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin came out and said that they needed to get back to negotiating. And he provided us with what seemed to be like good news. He said, you know what? Actually, while we were in discussions, we were on the verge of having an agreement. We were going through all the items and anything that we disagreed upon, we were pretty much just splitting the difference. But there was one item that was the major hangup that we couldn't agree on, and that was state and local government funding. According to Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, the Democrats wanted almost a trillion dollars in state and local government funding. And the Republicans, the, the White House officials said, uh, you don't need any. We provided you with $105 billion in the CARES Act, and according to our records, you've only used about 25% of that. Now, Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats responded back and said that states are on the verge of bankruptcy, and we don't want to see that happen, so we need more additional funding. And we're projecting out further out into the future because we don't know how long this is going to last, and we want to make sure that they're going to have some funding for quite some time. Now, this is a very interesting topic that a lot of critics are wanting to dive into a little bit deeper because in the CARES Act, they provided $105 billion, and one of the purposes of that money was to help keep employees from the state, the county, and the city employed. And they're saying that there have been state, city, and county employees that have been laid off, furloughed, have lost hours, and the intention, the purpose of that money was to keep them employed. And now they're saying that already 25% of it has been used, and what was it used for? In addition to that, they're saying that they have 75% of that money remaining, so they do they need a, an additional trillion dollars? And when the president issued executive memorandums requesting that states provide an additional $100 to unemployment benefits to help the unemployed, a lot of states responded back saying, we don't have the money, we can't afford it. And the response was, well, we allocated you funds. Where did it go? What did you use the money for? Especially if we're seeing that you've had layoffs. So according to Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, this was the main hangup that was stopping us from having an agreement. Well, later on this week, Nancy Pelosi came out and said that wasn't true. <laughs> and then Thursday, she actually came out with a chart showing all of the areas of disagreement and their stances, saying that these are actually all of the items that we have disagreement on that are stopping the stimulus package from rolling out and essentially stopping you from receiving your stimulus checks. Now, some critics are saying, why don't we just take the stimulus package and break it up into smaller packages and pass the provisions that we have agreement on? For example, stimulus checks. If we have an agreement, bipartisan agreement, Republicans, Democrats, the president, all say Americans should get a $1,200 stimulus check. Why not just pass that as a bill and then the rest you can come to an agreement on and then you can pass that later? Well, it's because Nancy Pelosi refused that. Republicans already proposed that, and she said that that is not acceptable, that we need one comprehensive stimulus package that covers everything so that nothing and no one is left out. So some of the critics of Nancy Pelosi are saying because of her unwillingness to split up the stimulus package because she wants to make sure that nothing is taken out, that that is also one of the things that are holding us up from getting stimulus checks. It was reported Wednesday that Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin called up Nancy Pelosi to discuss potentially restarting negotiations. And it was reported that the phone call didn't go well and that they were pretty much at a stalemate and that both parties cannot come to any sort of agreement. However, we need to see negotiations happening right away. So some critics of Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and of Nancy Pelosi are saying it's because of their stubbornness and their unwillingness to negotiate and come to an agreement 
that we are at a standstill and nobody is getting any stimulus checks anytime soon. However, when Nancy Pelosi was asked, are we gonna have to wait till September to see a stimulus package roll out? Her response was, I hope not because people are gonna die. Now the Senate currently is on recess and it's supposed to resume on September 8th. However, they're kinda on recess, kinda not. They're on call at the moment and they're supposed to have a 24 hour notice that if an agreement is reached, they're gonna be notified and they need to be back on the Senate floor within 24 hours. So the hope is that Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi will be able to come together, resume negotiations, come to an agreement so that way we can begin to put together a bill and then the Senate can come and the House of Representatives, everybody can agree on it and then we can pass it to the president, sign it off and we can have something emerge and included in that should be stimulus checks. And another potential roadblock to stimulus checks arose on Thursday when President Donald Trump announced that he would not be passing any bill that included in it provisions to help with mail-out voting. That he said that it would be our nation's biggest election fraud of its history and that he would not be including anything in it and that our biggest problem with elections is not Russians or any interference. It is the Democrats trying to interfere with mail-out voting. So another potential roadblock to having stimulus checks is that we actually received, I guess, good news that for the first time since the pandemic, we had less than a million people apply for unemployment last week, which is good news. Uh, still not great news, but I guess it's better that things are improving. However, some members of Congress are saying that this is a sign that things are improving and that we don't necessarily need a massive stimulus package. And this could jeopardize stimulus checks. So at the moment, all eyes are on Congress. We're pretty much waiting to see if Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi and maybe Mark Meadows and Chuck Schumer will all come together and be able to come to an agreement so that way we can pass the next stimulus package, which should include in it stimulus checks. So we're all waiting to see if that's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, how things are gonna unfold. Now, if or when stimulus checks are released in the next stimulus package, we can expect them to look very similar to what we saw in the CARES Act, which would be $1,200 for individuals that make $75,000 a year or less. If you make seventy-five dollars to $99,000 a year, you'll receive a partial check. And if you make more than $99,000, you won't receive a check. You don't qualify. Couples filing jointly will receive a $2,400 check as long as you make $150,000 or less. If you make $150,000 to $198,000 a year, you'll receive a partial check. And if you make more than $198,000 a year, you don't receive a full check. And we're still waiting to see what's gonna happen with your dependents. Uh, according to the Heals Act, on the Republican side, they were saying that you should get $500 per dependent. And according to the Democrats, you'll get $1,200 per dependent. So we're gonna see what unfolds there. And in the last round of stimulus checks, a lot of adult dependents got left out. Now they fixed that, and in this one, they should be included as well, so that way they can get their stimulus money. And also, backed up child support, wages being garnished from stimulus checks, that is gonna be applied to this, just like it was the last time. However, there is a bill on the table to maybe change that. So we're gonna see what's gonna be unfolding with that. Also, as I mentioned in a previous video, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said that when stimulus checks are approved, it's signed into law that you should be receiving your stimulus checks within seven days if you have electronic payments set up for direct deposit. And it's gonna be coming from his department, so we would hope that he would know. If you have not done that, please go ahead and do that right away. Go to irs.gov and set up electronic payment, update your information so that way you can get a direct deposit for your next stimulus check. So that way that when it is passed into law, you can receive it within seven days. So if you guys are still with me, I know there was a lot of information. Thank you for sticking around. I hope that this was helpful information, getting you guys up to date on where we stand at the moment with stimulus checks, what's the holdup and what we need to see unfold to get them to come about. So again, if you guys could do me a quick favor, go ahead and hit the like button. I would appreciate it. It'll just take a second. It'll help me out a ton. It'll help on my channel. And also, if you'd like to get more video updates, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. And also, if you'd like a chance to get two free stocks, there's a link in the description below when you download the Weeble app and you fund your account with as little as $100, you can get two free stocks, one of which could be valued up to $1,400. Well, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and keep you guys updated with whatever rolls out here. I hope that we have good news. I hope that this reaches you well and know that I'll be sure to share whatever comes up. God bless. This is Steve.